kept close watch on Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding, but the two teammates barely looked at each other. Correspondent John Blackstone has the story. Nancy Kerrigan arrived first today. <laughs> what a ride. For what was perhaps the most awaited moment so far in these Olympic Games. <laughs> Kerrigan and Tanya Harding on the ice together. Their first joint practice session in the Olympic Arena, Northern Lights Hall. There were no judges here today, but the scrutiny was intense. And last night, the decision was made to more than triple security. Uh, you have to be prepared for World War III tomorrow, they said last night. Next skater, Tonya Harding, United States of America. Nancy Kerrigan, please prepare. Before they skated in the main Olympic Hall, Harding and Kerrigan had a dress rehearsal, backstage, so to speak. On the practice rink, where Olympians can usually run through their programs with almost no one watching. Usually when skaters are working out in this practice arena, these stands are almost empty. But earlier today, the figure skating session in this modest arena behind the main Olympic Hall was a hotter ticket than some official Olympic events. It was standing room only here. It seemed the whole world was watching this training rink, analyzing every move. Though Harding and Kerrigan shared the ice, they seemed a world apart. They did not acknowledge each other. I was amazed, but I, I mean, I was really proud of the way uh, both the women handled it. It was a tough situation today, and I think they handled it very, very well. Harding was nursing a sore ankle today. Kerrigan seemed confident but cautious, as the two skaters, together, faced what may be their most pressure-filled day before next week's competition. John Blackstone, CBS News, Hamar. Tomorrow, uh, Tanya Harding holds a news conference, and the two Americans will practice again at the same time and the same place. The formal competition begins six nights from tonight. Dan? Did they succeed? Well, I'm told by the experts that Nancy Kerrigan accomplished what she wanted, that is, she stayed upright. She didn't fall during her program, so no one could suggest that she was affected by Tanya Harding's presence. Tanya Harding did not run through her program, but I'm told that's not unusual for any skater's first practice after flying in the day before. She did take a spill during one practice jump that aggravated that already sore ankle, but the U.S. team leader says she's just fine. There was no eye contact between the two of them, but all in all, they both acted like professionals today. Dan? Thanks, honey. In the...